Hi, this is Pat Battle from Living Web Farms, and in cooperation with the Organic Growers School, we're going to try and give you important bits of information every day on how to feed yourself right now from what you have available. So many of us have gardens that have gone to seed. It was a mild winter. Lots of the brassicas made it through the winter, and now they're making flowering tops, and those are all edible and delicious. Right here, we have turnip tops. And nearby, not as abundant, but we also have mustard tops. All of those are edible and delicious. We also have arugula tops. Every bit of that top is edible. You just take it to where the stem is tender. The leaves are good, the buds are good, the flowers are sweet and hot. They're really wonderful. And then We'll show you what kale and collard tops look like, and we'll give a quick demonstration of where to cut them so they keep producing. I'm gonna cut. We want to cut them where they're still going to be tender, um, and you can find out if they are by cutting them, tasting them. The lower you cut them, that's still tender, the stem is good. The lower you cut them, the more big buds you're going to get next time. If you cut them higher, you get lots of small buds. You can harvest from turnips or something like that for weeks filming kale tops once he gets creates a social distance. I will show you how to cut them. Once again, you might want to test the first time and just see where it snaps. That's going to be tender, you know. Um, then once you got an idea, it's faster to just cut. You can get a lot of really gourmet quality food by harvesting your brassica tops. All the tops of the brassicas are edible. Okay, let's take a look at the collards. These are my absolute favorite. I have for years thought I should actually specialize in providing spring collard tops. They're sweet, tender, have the texture of broccoli, and taste like collards. Can you beat that? By the way, we are looking at those turnip tops. Broccoli Rob is actually a turnip that is bred to make broccoli-like tops. So you have all of this gourmet food if you have brassicas that overwintered. Um, also, if you have radishes that overwintered, you might let them go to seed and the tender young pods are juicy and sweet with a bean-like texture, but spicy like radishes. So eat your food, let some go to seed to feed the pollinators, Get out in your backyard and plant the next round. So here we're looking at oilseed radish. That's a cover crop and yet the tops are edible and delicious. This is the one that I said if you wait until it sets pods, you can eat the pods when they're young and tender too. But right now the tops are absolutely delicious and ready to be taken. Tender but I chop it fine. You know, there's a little bit of chew to it but delicious, not even hot. It's sweet and radishy tasting. Absolutely scrumptious. But chop it fine because there is a little bit of fiber. You won't notice it, it'll be good for you. There's a kale that has a little gathering of aphids. That's going to happen as the plants are going to seed. They're going to stop defending themselves and the aphids are going to start to graze on them. Don't harvest those ones, but let them be because those aphids are going to feed your ladybugs and your lacewing larvae and your surface fly larvae and you're going to multiply your beneficial insects for later in the season. Those aphids aren't going to be a problem. Nature will take care of them. I've been harvesting and eating these kinds of brassicas top, tops for 25, 30 years. I've always thought that farmers should be marketing them, haven't gotten around to promoting it. Last fall, I came up with a mix of sprouting broccolis and other sprouting, flowering brassicas that I intended to market, and I had a name for it. I decided to name it Broccolooni. I think it's a great name for your mix of broccoli tops. Farmers, you need income, you've got your brassicas going to seed, Take broccolini to the market. Let's get that concept out there. Nobody can trademark it now. Eat your broccolini.